Howdy folks, welcome to Wonder Eats. Today I'm departing back home to, uh, from Dubai to Kuala Lumpur. Announcements. Hopefully you can still hear me. But I took the metro from downtown all the way to the airport. Another train coming. So importantly, what you want to do, you can take the metro, is get off at this point if you're taking Emirates. So I'm here talking about flying back with Emirates. And this is where you need to go, which is Airport Terminal 3. So we just arrived, so let's head on in. Let's go. So upon arrival, turn left. And then you head into the see to the airport. Travel later as it passes through the foyer where the car drops off and pick up. The taxi terminal is right there as well. Yeah. Convenient. Now, you definitely need to pass, which is why you need your no card, and that should be the terminal to enter. Now, if you're going town to town and you arrived here at the airport, you have airport terminal one and airport terminal two to. Uh, in terms of the metro station airport terminal 1 station and this is the airport terminal 3 station so you have two choices okay my final one hopefully is enough balance oh yeah perfect and then here we go just straight on in again escalator heading down that becomes an uh, travel later wow that is so cool never seen this before Here we are, you already arrived and on the left you have your food court and the right that's where you check in and that's where I need to go, the Emirates check-in counters. Convenient enough, easy enough and you can also take the elevators to the metro. Check in on the left. It's a humongous airport. That's for arrivals. Yeah, that's where I got out when I arrived on Saturday. Alright, keep heading up to the check-in counter. As you can see, there's right above. Oh, those are self-check service check-ins. And you have the first and business class. And there you go. ATMs as well is located here. Cool. Duty free shop. Toilets. Super convenient. There's the Emirates. All departures. Check in. Wow, that's huge. Alright, in our case, I've already checked in, but I need to drop off the luggage, so I guess everybody goes to the baggage drop queue, which is right here.
first and foremost, let's get some food. Apparently, the food court is here. Now, the check-in process all was pretty painless. Just scan your passport, um, scan your face, and then put in your luggage, add on the tag, and away you go. So the only thing it didn't print out the boarding pass, so I had to. So basically, because I already checked in, so I need to ensure that uh, the boarding pass is on my phone. So now I'm about three hours away from my flight. That means I have to make sure that I have enough battery left on my phone to use it as a boarding pass. Interesting. So this is the food court area. Basically, we have Subway, Donner, Burger King, and freshly prepared food. Huh? So here's the breakfast, which is the chicken brownie. It smells really, really good. And then the Americano, but surprisingly, is only 28 dirhams. Very affordable actually for airport pricing, considering everything. So this is the seating area. A lot of people are sleeping on the um, cubicle. So anyway, let's dig in. Let's have a look at the chicken. There's one here, two, and that's about it. Oh, what degree? Okay, three pieces. Yeah. Let's try this. So before we dig into the food, we definitely have to have a sip of coffee first. Yeah. Just got my fix. There you go. Strong. Mm. Alright, let's give this a try. Mix with the gravy at the bottom. A little bit. Yeah, when it served, I was afraid that it would be too dry because I didn't see the um, gravy at the bottom. That looks good. There are actually more than three pieces of chicken. Quite a lot of small ones. So, moment of truth. Yeah, mix it up. A lot of the gravy. compare airport food wow this is right up there my goodness and there's another Indian one the shop right behind me if you can see it mm. so so good Chicken is tender, full of uh, herbs and spices, as you would to expect in uh, when you're in the Middle East. Yeah. One more. So while we're at it, I just want to have a quick recap of the... I left at... Um, I woke up at 5.30. I took the train at 6.45, the metro. I think I arrived here just now at 7.20. Yeah, 
so it was pretty quick very convenient and the reason why I even took it is because I top up the no card and then um, so I decided just take the the metro to the airport and it arrives directly at Terminal 3 which is um, dedicated specially for Emirates and then the whole process was very quick as you can see just now just direct um, a walk straight line and you're down at the checking counter so very very easy you're not gonna get lost so anyway um, the check-in process was quick as well the line moved very quickly and the machine worked very well so I think that's key um, I think a lot of the other machines you see in Southeast Asia perhaps it takes a very long time it's because there's technical issues or people don't know how to do it the instruction was not clear etc etc or especially those that you need fingerprints and things like that so here that was so fast you just scan your passport um, do a scan of your face and then scan the passport one more time and that's it uh, put your luggage the you weighs it uh, uh, and then um, it will print out the luggage tag you stick it on to your bag and then press the button and whoop, your away your bag goes where does it go I wonder um, so and then uh, that's it say thank you and uh, rate the whole experience and off you go because the boarding pass is already on your phone right so yep that's it thanks for watching hope to see you guys back in Malaysia or to my next destination which it should be Vietnam shortly and uh, do consider subscribing to the channel if you already have not done so and uh, share these videos with your friends and I'll catch you guys in the next one bye